hey my beautiful people welcome to my today's youtube channel today's vlog steve j1 here this is just the up next or what to expect to see in this video so today guys i got the chance to spend my time with real investors in kenya here multi-billionaire investors guys this was such a transformational time for me. It was such a good time for me. It was such an epic journey. So guys, uh, today was a good day. And as you can see in this video, I'll be showing you uh, what we did exactly, what happened today. Just look at this place. It is one of the best places that you can go. Relax, spend time with your family, your friends, uh, time with yourself. But guys, I don't know how to explain it. I just want you to see for yourself. I just want you to explore this beautiful place with me. I'll just be explaining in details what we have. So let's go. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Steve J1 here. Welcome to my today's uh, video. So uh, I know uh, the start of this video... Uh, my voice will not be rhyming with uh, what I'm saying here because I'm doing a voiceover. I recorded this video in a place that was very noisy. There was a lot of music, but I just wanted to do. So, guys, welcome to my today's video. I'm going to start the video here. I want to show you where I am. This place is so beautiful. It is called uh, Asiana Gardens, you see? Asiana Gardens. So, this is the entrance of the place. So, uh, come in with me. Let me show you what we have here. We have a mixture of uh, decorations like this one. These are decorations of a statue at the gate. At the main entrance, you're going to find this, uh, this statue here. This is like a man with a pot trying to balance a pot on his head. <laughs> Don't mind the white coloring. This is uh, uh, the, the coloring from the water, you know. The, you know, when water flows through cement, that's the discoloration. Uh, on this side, <coughs> we have parking there. We have water tanks here. So this is just the main entrance. You have not seen anything yet. So this is the main parking. So I came with uh, a few friends here. So you, as you can see, you see in this car, these ones, these are my friends. <coughs> so I traveled with them. You'll see them later in this video. We still have kids. I don't. I don't want to show kids uh, their faces, so I'll try to avoid uh, recording them for now. But this is that of the thing. So when you come to Asiana Gardens, Asiana Gardens uh, is one of the. Let me say a hotel. Uh, oh, what is it? Yes, it's like a hotel, a very big multi-billion investment. It is in Kenya. I would not say it is in Nairobi. But I think it is in Kajado County, uh, in a place known as uh, Ongata, Rongai. Ongata Rongai. When you come in at the entrance, there's this statue of a leopard. So that's a leopard. So when you come in here, uh, this is where you register. So they check you in. So they have to check you in, whether you are carrying something. This is another... Uh, I don't know what is this, but it's something at the entrance. You see, you can hold it. They allow you to hold it. Just look out how beautiful it is. It is rotating, you know. It's something that floats. Then after that, you come to this side. Here, you have to register again. So, because of people, I could not register a lot. I could not uh, keep recording. But now, here, this is the first site that you see once you enter the place. Such a, These are my friends. Uh, they are coming in. We are traveling together. So, uh... This is the start of the video. Just look at how beautiful this place is. Just how beautiful this place is. I had to take a tour. And the main reason why I did not record uh, most of my face is that this place was having music, you know. And you know, uh, our videos with music, they don't go together. So I tried to avoid my face as much as possible so that I can come and do a voiceover later, edit the video and talk. So now look. Look at the lounge. Look at how uh, this place, uh, it's green. When you come to this field, you have uh, so many, so many people. So from the start of this point, uh, we have, you can walk on this uh, green place. They allow you that. 
we have so many so many amenities so i just wanted to take the first tour around the main place look at that on my right here you can see chairs for people sitting all over that is like the main dais you see down there this place is arranged like a, an arena you know down there this place is arranged like an arena uh in such a way that you guys can sit up here you my people you'll see just uh keep watching the video uh people can sit up here eat as you watch people swim down there so it's just the same way that uh, the football fields are constructed so i had to take a tour J just look at these trees what kind of trees are these are they palm palm trees look at them they, 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 they are manicured <laughs> manicured or they are done what look at the green grass so i just want to take you on a very short tour of this place uh how we enjoyed life i wanted to record uh, as much as uh, possible on the interaction but there was a lot of music so first i'm going to take you on a general tour so this is my friend is called felix so me and him we decided to take a tour to towards that place where we have that green place so we have people here when you come here you're able to hide anywhere you want we have like private uh, chairs inside these bushes we have like constructions down there like this path i'm taking when you come in through here you see this is a banana that is even growing here you can sit down there you know we came here around uh, midday by the time of this recording this video it was around midday so this place was starting to fill with people you know people were coming from churches they were coming all along so after this we, we we had to get <laughs> that is what some, somebody do <laughs> we did not want to appear on the video so i decided to go deeper and see what's in there so now you see so when you come now that that's that's where we have the arena you come up here then you turn when you come here you find different staircases we have these ones going up and we have others going down you see these are the, the ones going down they are going to down there that's the kitchen that's the kitchen the main kitchens they extend from here to the other side of the swimming pool kitchens they are very big they are very big so we have that that's a kitchen so these are staircases going down but then we have an interesting thing there you see there where i'm focusing we have like a waterfall a fountain that is like a waterfall so let me take you there. You know, I wanted to capture the sound of the water, but the music was so loud. So I have to come closer and show you what we got. You know, the sound of this water was so calming. It was so calming. Uh, I think if anybody wants to do a video here, uh, you come on a weekday when there is no such music. Look at this water. It is falling all the way from, you see. Wow, it's such a beautiful place. So I want to capture the sound of this water, but I cannot because of the music. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. So look at this water. Just look at that. Wow. Look at the way the stones are even arranged. So it's like a natural waterfall. Then we have, I think up there, those are offices. So this water just flows, goes down. Then another water comes. You know, it's not like uh, recycling. So that one comes. So that is my friend Felix. So he's the one that we came with. We came with uh, his wife, uh, another friend's uh, wife. So I did not come with my wife, but next time I'm I'm coming with my family here. So I was trying to tell my friend to come down the stairs. So you see, when you come down the stairs there, <laughs> you know, so he's trying to come down the stairs. So that's how you come down there. But me, I was using this path up here. We have like other two stairs where he's climbing. You see there, then me, I'm using another stair around so here you have freedom but uh, one thing here that they don't do they do not sell alcohol so if you come here you have your alcohol they won't allow it if you come here you want alcohol they won't sell it to you they don't sell alcohol so they sell food and any other drink you come and you enjoy anything that you want with your kids uh even uh, maybe wedding something like that so look at this so these chairs they have like something like a mattress i'm going to sleep there in fact i want to sleep on one of these like this one 
so you see like this one i want to sleep yeah like that so it's like a mattress <laughs> you can sleep here so you're able to capture you see look at this so you can sit there and face each other if you are there with your fiance your wife or your girlfriend you sit there you enjoy your life your time together no hurry in africa no hurry so uh, after that you're able to go down you see just look at how beautiful the place is now this is from one angle from where i was standing then now you're able to go down you see uh these stairs look at the way they are made like circles you know like uh slices of maybe ugali or like uh, some bread they make that way so this one is also having like a bed so inside there you cannot be rained but it's open so we have people there dancing wow how i wish i could uh, upload this video with the noise but now i have to edit it and remove the music so let me go down and show you the other sides of the of this big big uh, place so i wanted to go down just look at these trees just look at how this place is green and the surrounding place is extremely dry ronga is one of the driest places we have around nairobi so but because of water just look at how this place is beautiful so you go down and they have a wide range of foods a wide range of foods i did not uh, check the menu that much but i'll show you what we ate it was very affordable at a cost of uh, a full chicken was going for i think close to 2000 kenyan shillings that's very affordable in such a place like this very very affordable their foods they are fair enough like fair enough in fact they are one of the fairest uh, places that i've ever vi visited so now look at this place from here we have one of the biggest swimming pools olympic <laughs> this is like the olympic swimming pool so these are people seated down here so now this is what i was telling you you can sit here and still be able to watch people swimming down there and from the other side this for the adults this is for the adults then we have children swimming on the other side so when you you swim you come and sleep here you bask for the sun to just uh, dry your body you come up here you eat your food so let me take you to this other side on this other side we have amenities like uh, the conference rooms you see this kind of trees that they have planted so beautiful i just love them i i even wish i could make my place like this so let's see so this is the main uh, conference room we have children there i'm trying to avoid them as much as possible so this is the main conference room this one so that's the main conference so i want to first take this route as you can see this name uh now this this route down here takes you to the swimming pool so those stairs they take you to the change rooms down there and the swimming pool itself so i don't want to film there because people were there a bit of uh, you know their privacy so i came up so i came up to this other side so you see from here look at the way everybody can see you can see whoever is swimming down there then from this other side you're also able to see i'll be showing you guys so i had to turn i want to see uh the way the way uh this place is arranged let's see things like uh the washrooms let's go to the washrooms so you take this street <laughs> they are the like medieval medieval streets in italy you know the way you walk in those tiny 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 uh streets so you see you go like you're going around this conference room so around this conference room when you come here the first uh, toilets that you meet are for ladies i don't want to focus there so let me pass let me go to the gents so you keep walking you keep walking and on this side you'll find the gents washrooms so here they are these are the gents washrooms so this is where men come they will have their internet thing there so i decided to keep walking i see where this path leads me so i walked and around here it took me outside this place again so now you see i was able to walk around the conference room so to the right this is a, uh, so this is like ever safe this is a thing for water in case of an emergency 
So that's what we use. So on the right here, this is a kitchen. This is a kitchen. So this is what uh, started. Uh, I started showing in the video. So now you see. So we have people they are cooking. So on the left here, what you see, that's the conference room. So guys, let me keep walking. Let me keep walking and show you what we got. Now I want to go to, to that side and see what do we have here. What do we have? <laughs> but we have people there seated. <laughs> A majority, they don't want to see cameras. You know, people, people, the moment you hold your phone out, people know. So this place is called Asiana Gardens. So let's see. So when you come here, we have tables and chairs for people. Tables and chairs. So you see, we have couples seated there, boys and their girlfriends. Uh, we have families. So I'm trying to avoid capturing them as much as possible. So because people are seated everywhere. So let me go down. Let me go around and keep showing you what we have. So now look, this is a swimming pool from here. This is a view that you have from here. I have shown you the view from the other side there. I'll also go back there and show you what we have. This swimming pool, I was able to swim here today. It is one of the sweetest. You know, until the sun sets at six, the sun keeps hitting the water. So the water is very warm. It's very relaxing. And this is one of the deepest uh, swimming pools I've ever been to. So when you come to this, we have like a small footbridge that flies over. You see, this on this right, we have the swimming pool for the adults. On this other side, this one, this is a swimming pool for the children. You see? So this one is a swimming pool for the children. So when you come with your child, we have trainers there. We have people looking after them. So you don't have to worry about your child. So people will take care of, their, of your children. You go and enjoy your life. So here, this is also the DJ's booth. This place. So look at this view. So the DJ, the DJ from here is able to see everybody. The children... You see, this is a DJ, a very friendly guy. <laughs> so he was there vibing with me, you know. <laughs> so he was vibing, you know. I cannot put the music because of copyright. Uh, so I had to edit. So these are children. Look at the swimming pools for the babies. Just look at that. Investment. This was a true investment that was well thought. Come here, bring your children. I'm not doing an advertisement, but I just enjoyed the live here. So I wanted to... So these are the DJ tools of trade. So the DJ, this guy was uh, well conversant with the audience. I wish you could, uh, I could have put the videos here. People were singing along. They were crazy. People were, were just shouting. And the swimming pool, by, the, by 4 p.m., it was full, full to the brim. I think you'll see it in this video. You'll see what we have by the end of this video. So I'm going to go back to where I started the video. This is where I started the video. But before that, let me turn left. On the left here, we have the children's corner. Remember, I told you that this place, they do not sell alcohol. So children are free to, to roam around because they, they will not uh, walk into people with uh, with what? With alcohol, they won't be exposed to such. So this is a place. We have swings. Your child will come here. Even the adults, you are swinging here. People are enjoying life. Just look at this place. You won't even think you're in Ronkai. The driest place here. So when, when you come here, we have a basket. Uh, coat. Uh, is it, what is this? What is this? A peach or oh, it's what? So there's a basketball or whatever. Net. Whatever it is. Then we have the slides for your children. Look at that child. Wee! <laughs> so the children were coming down from that thing. For me, it was scared. Me, I cannot climb there and slide. Then we have others jumping up and down. So I tried to, to avoid that. So we have this thing. Like a, It's like a gazebo. It's a rainbow. They call it the rainbow hall. When you come in, let me show you. We have people here eating. So I don't want to capture them as much. Look at this. Tables for reservations. Tables for reservations. Wow. Just look at that. Just look at this. <laughs> wow. The ambience. The climate. It was so cool. Here you cannot even miss it. Here you enjoy your life to the fullest. So we have this. 
is it tambourine or what, what is it where children jump you can relax here your child is also sliding there for small babies we have this thing that is pinkish here we have for those children that love adventure they come here and climb you climb this you walk it's like uh what is it we have these games for strong people we have the jump the yeah they climb this the 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 structure that they have made then we have up there upstairs so now you see this is my friend's child so i'm trying to avoid children as much as possible look at these beautiful dolls <laughs> we have that we got that we got this so i think this is for girls as much as possible now this is a backyard look wow so your yeah, children when they come here we have barbie is it barbie so we have barbie those things so i wanted to go up there and see what we have what we have up there so let's go and walk the stairs and uh, these stairs are made uh, of steel you know metal you know steel so you walk up so i wanted to walk up and see let's see what we got i want to see the view that we have from here so i come up here the first view is that you're able to see the whole of this place so i wanted to avoid those people seated there now look at this you see that tank there that is where i started my video see we have a tank there that's where the gate is look at how far it is look at how far this that place is extremely far so from here you're able to see look at the view let's look at the view of this place wow the sky the climate the wind here was blowing so calm you see from here even the swimming pool is very far look at the amenities very far it's down there wow so i had to rotate come here and see what we got look at that you have your children jumping enjoying life it was such an epic day an epic day so i want to go down i wanted to go down and see what we have and also locate my friends you know from this point i had missed them so i i go down i find that they have really ordered food <laughs> they had ordered food so this is what we got this one is called mokimo you know mokimo the green thing this is my friend's wife <laughs> so uh we have this they ordered the chips they ordered uh, mokimo one for our friend and chicken you see the chicken we ate all of us so you see my friend is there the other friend is there washing their hands and then we dined and then we ate <laughs> look at this so we enjoyed ourselves we really enjoyed ourselves uh, i did not have a plan to go here today so i i hijacked their plan so we went down and swam this is me swimming here <laughs> So this is me swimming there that is very deep this is a deep end where i am it is extremely deep you cannot stand you try to stand here you drown you see so i want to see it's very deep i cannot even step down so you have to keep swimming regardless so this is a deep end you know luckily i know how to swim from long time <laughs> So I'm also with my friends. They are here swimming. So my friend had ran away from the water. So I was telling him to come in. Come in and swim. <laughs> yeah, so so it was such a good time. It was such a good time. You know, everybody was enjoying life here. So the, the good thing with swimming at the deep end is that not so many people come there. Not so many people come to the deep end. So most of them they spend their time at the shallow end there so you have you all this side of the pool to yourself so you see so we got that up to where i am you cannot stand so <laughs> so me i love swimming around the deep end here you see so guys come here and swimming here is very affordable i think they charge approximately 400 shillings approximately 400 kenya shillings you swim even if you want to swim till the following day. <laughs> I don't know about that, but come and see. So when you come 
here at this corner you have to hold onto this you hold on to either this pole or uh, this rubber band that I'm holding because you cannot stand here so you have to support yourself <laughs> you have you have to support yourself so we were trying to compete here with my friend but you could not fit the two of us here you know we are kind of big we could not compete uh, fit in the same line although they are very spacious so and I won I won that that small competition there <laughs> we are trying to do is it a backflip or it's what a butterfly backstroke it's called a backstroke so this is my friend swimming here so guys it was so epic this place is is so 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 good so when you come they are going to give you a wristband so when you come into the water although it will not uh, it will not be able to to be removed with the water but you have to, you need to have it for you to go into the water so later we came out more eating <laughs> people are still eating we have uh, we have people look just look at this so i came out and you do a, an evening video before we left it's around 5 p.m you see the sun is setting so these are my friends they're seated there so they're seated there they're waiting for me to finish up then we leave just look at that so people are even leaving the pool because it's getting cold extremely cold only a few people are left inside there then now it's time to go and explore other places this place also has uh, things like accommodation you want to come and sleep i did not ask the the amount of money that uh, they need for accommodation but they showed me they have rooms they showed me that they have uh, other amenities so i did not want to interview people here because uh, i could not override the, the music so i could not tell the dj to stop the music so i focused on just showing you what we got what we have my first time just spending time at a multi-billionaire's investment. Wow. So look at these chairs. So when you come here, let's say you have uh, a family of three, you can sit on those kind of private tents there. So look at the lawns, the way they are paved. We have the children here swinging. And doing nice. So I want to go down there. There's an event that was taking place here. There's a birthday. I don't know. Yes, this is a, like kind of a bad day that was taking place here. So I wanted to go and see what they had. Let's see, like the arrangement. The sun is setting, you see. It's very bright. Very bright. So let's come in and see what we got. <clears throat> Look at this. So this table. So this table, uh, somebody was having a bad day here. So this is the kind of a setup that they usually do. So that is one of the workers here. So they were telling me that they have already finished up. I can film as much as I want. So look at this. So somebody was having a birthday here. Their birthday party. <laughs> so let's move and see. Nolan. Nolan was having a happy birthday. So happy birthday to Nolan. I don't know them. <laughs> so look at that setup. I just want to capture this setup. How they are. So we have everybody here. Look at the glasses, the black, the flowers, the table arrangement. It was so beautiful. I loved it. Even the, look at the lights. Look at the lights. It was such a beautiful place, a beautiful, beautiful place. So uh, after this, it was time to go to another thing. <clears throat> then we left. <laughs> we left everybody. So I was behind here filming. So, you know, we were walking all of us as a group most of the time. But, you know, now it's evening. So, I wanted to avoid people, recording people. Look at those lawns. This is the backyard of this place. So, let's walk up. You know, here you cannot record everybody. But now, let's come to this. Look at this lawn. Just look at that driveway. So beautiful. So beautiful. I loved it. In fact, I want to make mine like that. Just look at the way the trees are planted. 
So let's go out. So we are almost done here. It was time to leave. And here we are taking off. Here we are taking off. So we are going home. We have people coming in. Wow. <laughs> My friend's children, they, they were gifted so many balloons. So they are carrying balloons here. Just, just look at these guys. <laughs> they carrying so many balloons. So let's go. Let's go home. So up to this point, it was such a beautiful day. But this is not the end of the video, guys. I want to show you coming here. This place is one of the most beautiful places. As you go to this hotel, on the way, you're able to, to see wildlife, many international schools, like very beautiful neighborhoods. So don't even leave because we have one of the biggest primates. You'll be seeing them in this video, the baboons. So from here, you can see this is Asiana Gardens, Asiana Gardens. So this is my friend. I wanted him to take a thumbnail of me. So he was here. He was trying to record. <laughs> he was looking. He was looking for, you see, I was there. So don't worry about that, guys. I said I will not remove it. This was my friend trying to record a video. He thought that he was taking pictures. <laughs> but it is what it is. So guys, uh, as you drive to this place, as you drive to this place, this is what you see. These are the scenes that you see. Look at this. We have one of the most beautiful places around Nairobi. This is called Mombasa Road. So from my home, this is the route that we took. Mombasa Road. Now we were driving to Rongai. So this place, uh, as you drive to this place, you'll find uh, this is a super highway. So I was trying to capture, you see, you see this thing like a story building here, the Nairobi Expressway. So let's forget about it. Let's focus on the neighborhood here because I do not have a good shot there. This one is called Bellevue, 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 Bellevue. So this used to be like our lighting place long those days. So you drive past this, you come to South Sea. So South Sea starts here, majorly there. So those are apartments for people. Then now we come to this. Look at these guys. <laughs> Look at this. We have baboons. So these baboons, they are very big. Look at this. And some of them, they are very arrogant. They won't even be scared of you. If you move out, they bite you. So you can even, even open the window and they come and snatch your phone away. <clears throat> Just look at this. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Look at this. This one is maimed. I think it was hit by a car. Or it was very old because it looked very, very sick. This one looked very sick. Even with a broken leg. I think it was hit by a car. So we have the other one. Look at that. The one that's seated there. My friend is also recording from the car's window. Look at that. Scratching itself. Scratching the body. Wow. Welcome to Kenya, guys. The only place you will see this. And this is the CBD. This is now Nairobi. So we have one of the biggest national parks in Kenya. It is the Nairobi National Park. It is the only national park in a capital city across the world. So you'll find these, you'll find lions, you'll find every kind of animal in the national park. You see that fence there? You see those trees? Those trees are inside the national park. In fact, that's the national park. You'll see a lion there. Lions roam here. So we decided to drive off and off we went. So now we are going to Rongai. So we got this. On the way, you'll find so many, so many uh, schools, international schools. Like the GM, gems, uh, we have, I don't know, which one down. We have so many, Cambridge, whatever. All these schools are here. Belong to the top tier of the site in Kenya, the rich only. So as you drive, these are the scenes that you'll see. Cars for people going home from church. But I wanted to show you the scenes here. So this is the Nairobi National Park. On my left, as you can see, this is the National Park. So these trees, this is the boundary between uh, the people 
and the national park so here we are going down to rongai so, so this is now rongai itself is this rongai here so when you go down kfc so we have all these amenities i think no this should be south sea so this we are heading to rongai we have quick mart there so after this quick mart we have the wilson airport so you're able to see all these uh, all these beautiful places so after this we are going to see the wilson airport this is immediately after this so it starts here the wilson airport where i took my first flight ever here paid by one of my subscribers thank you so much agnes for that opportunity you gave me such a lifetime opportunity but i could not record the video so that is wilson airport it starts there when you come in you're able to drive all the way so when you enter this airport you have to drive all the way so on this side this is all the airport going all the way to the end so from here the airport uh, you know it joins to one of the military barracks so i tried to capture i want to see whether we have planes here but i think the planes you can only see them from the other side but you see one there's one there see but we could not get a good glimpse of it so because of the tall buildings there so we we keep driving we drove all the way so this is it the wilson airport so you know uh this is like uh the second or third or fourth uh biggest airport in kenya because just a few kilometers from here like 10 kilometers or 15 we have the biggest airport the jomo kenyatta international airport so you know here traffic was starting to pile up a bit but we kept driving nevertheless so this place is called langata so we have a military camp here so i have to be very careful in my recording and you know i did not want to like record the military camp but i just wanted to capture the whole driving experience from nairobi see but this is still part of the airport <laughs> wilson airport it's quite big it's quite big you know it's subdivided into very small uh carrier companies you know so i think the airport ends there and this is the start of the military base so i did not want to capture that as much as possible i avoided capturing the the military camp until we got to the nairobi national park so i think the military camp ends there so this is a is it southern bypass or which one is this we have a bypass here we have roads going underneath where we are driving through you see that there's a road down there so that is it after you leave here you go to the nairobi national park so uh that's why you saw the baboons we have the monkeys you know initially they used to extend to go down all the way to where we have the military camp but because of human conflict uh, problem they are receding and going back you could find them here baboons you found them here i expect to see many here but i saw none until you got very far very far from here near rongai town or the multimedia you know we have the multimedia university that's where you find so many of them so you see these olinzi sports i don't know what that means but this is like a corporate for sports in kenya so i don't know what it is so initially you'd find so many of, of the baboons here warthogs you found them here but these days you can't even see any the baboons they are receding and uh, resizing into smaller numbers initially you'd find them here but you see these days you only find people walking like these ones people are walking all over so i know in the process of the walking you know they interfere with the baboons and the baboons will definitely try to run into bushes so initially people never used to walk here as much as these days 
Yeah, so here when you get here, you divert, you leave this main road, then you divert and you drive towards Rongai. So this is the Nairobi National Park on my left now. See, on my left is the Nairobi National Park. It is where we have all those animals coming from. All those animals are coming from this park, Nairobi National Park. So let's keep driving. So I wanted to capture like uh, the driving experience as much. Remember, we were, we were also sharing our own stories, uh, but I did not also want to capture that into a conversation. So we have this, the Nairobi National Park. We have statues there of buffaloes. Look at that. That's the main entrance of the Nairobi National Park. You come in, you get through there. So all these buildings. I think the first thing that you meet here, I've never gone into this national park, but people tell me they are orphanages. I don't know about that. Maybe probably one of these days I'm going to go in there and record a video. We see what we got. So these are the matatus in Kenya. Those are the public service vehicles that many people use to move from one place to the other. We use matatus. We have the greeneries. Now, these are the greeneries of the national park. That's where the animals are hiding. The buffaloes, the elephants, the lions, the cheetahs, the warthogs, the baboons. They are all hiding there. The big snakes, they are all hiding there. You no. Know? And this, uh, this, uh, National Park. This National Park stretches for kilometers. It is not a small one. It is one of the biggest national parks that we have in our country. And it stretches. It was, uh, according to me, I think it was one of the best ideas of the Kenyan government to like incorporate a national park around the city. So it was a very well thought idea. So today the skies were very clear. Very clear. The sun was shining. Remember, this at the time of the record, recording this video, we were driving towards Rongai, you know, where we were. We, we were. So that's where we were driving towards. So we got this. <laughs> we have people riding motorcycles. So here we divert, leave that road, and we keep left. So, guys, it is such a good and a beautiful experience. Look at that national park. The Nairobi, the famous. So, you guys, when you visit here, when you come to Kenya, or you, you are in Kenya, let's reconsider uh, visiting these national parks of ours. So, we have so many animals. So many animals. So many animals. So, guys... I think uh, the video would be a bit long, but because of time, uh, I'll try as much as possible to shorten it. I'll try as much as possible to shorten it because I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching my videos up to this end, up to this far. I say you are one of the blessings. You are such a blessing to me. But consider visiting Asiana, Asiana Gardens. Asiana Gardens. You'll enjoy your time to the fullest. So, guys, I'm going to show you all oh, this is the Nairobi National Park. All oh, you see here. This is not a personal investment. It is the National Park belonging to the Kenyan government, belonging to the people of Kenya, located deep inside the city. The city... So this national park is surrounded by humans all around. All around we have humans. So these are the matatus that carry people from the city to their places. So guys, because of time, let me allow me to end this video here. And thank you so much for watching my videos. May you be blessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now. Let's catch up tomorrow.